is a drifter, moving from town to town, robbing a gas station here, a grocery store there. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. In spin, Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing. No life, no possessions, no dreams. And that's when the vision Stoff carved the doll, whittling the haunting face until it was an exact replica. And when he was done, Stoff went to town to a bar. The owner had a daughter. Ooh, he said his girl would love the strange doll. Stoff offered it to the man, and the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction, the first of many. Stoff created the puzzle just as he saw it, and everyone wanted one. Stoff opened up a shop because everyone wanted a Stoff toy. Every boy and girl in the town, from all the neighboring towns. A Stoff toy is a toy for life, people said, and no two are alike. Stoff grew wealthy, but then the strange virus came, and some of the children started dying. <coughs> dying, clutching their Stoff toys so close.
I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. <laughs> oh, I've tasted better fare. At least he left his regrets. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. I, uh, I don't know. Uh... Oh, it says that we're each to have a piece. Exactly the same, including the symbols. What? That's impossible!
Don't worry, I won't bite. Edward, we could help each other out. I could help you, and you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs, where it's nice and bright. Here's food for thought. Be warned, though. Your mind will be gorged before this night is done. <laughs> Thank you. 